Hello all, hello dear, my dear students, uh, myself Dr. Sarika Kalra, Associate Professor in uh, EN Department from Ajay Kumar Gag Engineering College and I am taking your subject electrical machine, this is my lecture 5. In the previous lecture I have discussed about the practical transformer and the phasor diagram of practical transformer at no load and with the load with the lagging load and with the leading load. So, in this case we have uh, I mean uh, what is the difference between the ideal and practical transformer? Ideally is ideal is uh, I mean practical transformer we inculcate the uh, four uh, reality into the practical transformer. So, these uh, four uh, uh, realities we consider which which we have not consider in the ideal transformer. So, when we consider all this thing in the ideal transformer it become a practical transformer. So, and in that case uh, we have introduced the core loss in the ideal transformer and we also consider the winding resistance and the leakage uh, leakage flux because there is a leakage flux in the uh, core and there is a also a winding race in the, in the core because nothing is ideal and we also consider the magnetizing current which is has the finite length ok which is have the finite magnitude actually. So, today lecture we see the practical transform the equivalent circuit of the practical transformer and uh, uh, how this uh, equivalent circuit will draw when we use this practical transformer. So, uh, uh, why this uh, equivalent circuit are drawing I mean what is the purpose of this to draw the equivalent circuit? Because this equivalent circuit represent uh, represent the equation which describe the performance of the transformer ok. So, that is why the equivalent circuit is very necessary to, uh, to uh, analyze the transformer either it is high power transformer or low rating transformer ok. So, for to drawing this uh, exact equivalent circuit first I have taken the uh, the phasor diagram which we have discussed in the last lecture you uh, refer to that lecture lecture 4. So, I am just drawing again because it helps to draw the equivalent circuit. So, I have taken the flux phi, this is suppose E 2 and this is E 1 and in this case practical transformer the, uh, the no load current is of two component, one is the magnetizing component and other is the core loss component I C. So, the total no load current is I E that is exciting current ok that we have already discussed how this I E is leading with the flux because of the B H curve is not linear ok and it has some width. So, that I E is leading with the flux and to reduce the core loss we have to uh, take that material. So, that uh, the uh, is his uh, I mean it is B H curve is less width ok that we have already discussed. And in this case suppose it is drawing at no load. So, we have taken the and we also in inculcate the winding resistance which we have taken in series with the circuit and we also consider the leakage reactance. Leakage reactance due to the leakage flux because in the ideal transformer we consider when we apply the voltage at the uh, I mean in the input to I mean when you apply the voltage at the primary uh, winding the flux is produced and the this flux is constant which is depend upon the voltage and the frequency ok. But and uh, but in ideal transformer and we assume that all the flux is confined within the core, but in case of practical transformer we see that there is some leakage flux and that leakage flux is not a useful flux that is not the part part of to uh, 
take the action of transformer action okay it is a leakage kind of and this leakage flux is only connect with the I mean if the leakage flux is primary side though that, that flux is linked with the only primary primary coil and if the leakage flux is secondary side that flux is linked with the only secondary coil but the mutual flux is li linked with both the winding and these leakage flux are only in the air, air part only it is not in the core okay that is why we consider as a reactance equivalent to this leakage react uh, I mean this leakage flux will produce it is a changing kind of flux so it produces the voltage. So that voltage we consider as a drop in the transformer ok. So uh, in the if you see the designing part of we uh, use that uh, I mean in the designing uh, uh, designing of transformer we can see we have taken the low value of leakage reactance and minimum to minimum value of uh, uh, rotor raised uh, I mean the winding resistance so that the voltage drop in the transformer will be less ok. So, <coughs> if you see the phasor diagram this is V1 dash we have considered ok I am drawing at lagging load so if it is lagging load that means V2 I2 is lagging with the V2 suppose angle theta 2 and theta 2 is the power factor of the load power factor ok. Now consider that to draw the equivalent circuit first you just draw the ideal transformer ok. This ideal transformer now in this ideal transformer we just put the reality so that it become a practical transformer. So in the phaser I have drawn like this is I2 So, equivalent to this I2 in primary side I2 dash will flow. So, the total current so the total current I1 is I2 dash plus I m I e sorry this is I ok. That we already seen ok. This is V1, this is I1 R e sorry I1 R1 and this is I1 X L1. And in this case, uh, this is I2 R2 and this is I2 X L2. So, this become V2 sorry E2. So, this become E 2 and this is suppose E 1 ok. So, if you see this uh, the I E you just see that I C is in same phase with the this I C is the core loss component core loss current is same phase with the V 1 dash and I m is same phase with the flux 
but it is 90 degree with the V1 dash. Okay. It is 90 degree with the this is 90 degree with the V1 dash. So, if you equivalently draw the element which is I mean satisfy this V1 dash and I m, how you incul inculcate in the equivalent circuit? Because the current is lagging with the V1, okay. The current is lagging with the V1 by a 90 degree, that means the element is represent the inductor value, okay and it experience a V 1 dash voltage that is E 1 you, you can say. So, suppose this is the ideal transformer and in this case this is E 1 and this is E 2. So, you can inculcate a inductor value parallel to the E 1 which carry the I m current. and suppose its value is x m because across this voltage is v 1 dash or you can say e 1. Okay. Now, this i c is the core loss component and it is in same phase, phase with the v 1 that means this represent the resistance value because the current and voltage are in same phase and always it is parallel with this the element is parallel with this ideal transformer. So, and it is also parallel with the because voltage across the this element the x n and this element is same. So, you can draw also the the resistance which is parallel to the this circuit okay, which carry the current I c you can so it is parallel and this x m carry the i m current and this IC carry uh, this branch carry the IC can support the resistance is RC okay. and the voltage across this branch is the E 1 or you can say V 1 dash. So, the total current is I E that is phasor sum of I C and I uh, I C and I M. Now, this V 1 dash add with this I 1 I uh, R 1 and uh, this drop will add to V1 dash and this uh, reactance drop will add in the V1 dash you will get the supply voltage. So, the resistance the leakage reactance the due to the leakage flux and the winding resistance is in series with the circuit and this represent the V1. So, this is R1 this is X1 and it carries suppose I 1 current. So, this is I 2 dash and what about in the this side? This side is the if the load is connected. So, the drop is there. So, we equivalently draw, uh, draw the this E 2 is ideally the voltage generated is E 2, but E 2 is not V in, in case of uh, ideal transformer E 2 is equal to V 2 we have already seen, but if we consider the winding resistance of the second secondary winding resistance and the leakage reactance in the secondary side, we have to consider a resistance and inductor in series like this. So, this is suppose R 2, this is X L 2, suppose this is current I 2 if you loaded the circuit. So, this is the equivalent circuit and this is the ideal transformer. So, in if 
in ideal transformer we add all these thing parameter it become a practical transformer because ideal nothing is ideal so to analyze the transformer we have to consider the this all losses and drop in the transformer okay so th this is the equivalent circuit of the practical transformer how you simplify this circuit because these all quantity are in the primary side and this r2 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 xl2 in the secondary side so if you shift this secondary side in this primary side so the analysis may be i mean become more easier okay so you can draw the equivalent circuit of two type i mean in two way one is refer to the equivalent circuit okay refer to primary side or i have actually i have a slide in this equivalent circuit refer to primary side so if you see in this circuit this <coughs> and if you uh, write a equation according to this equivalent circuit you can write this rc is equal to uh, i have taken the next page ic must be taken as so this rc is equal to v1 dash by ic and you can write xm is equal to v1 dash by im okay so by this you can get the these parameters and it is a loss actually it's a lossy component because this is a loss this is a power loss in the due to this core loss component so it can be written as the p is equal to or p core loss is equal to ic square rc okay now we have taken that <coughs> to simplify this equivalent circuit we just either take this secondary side parameter into the prime to the primary side or all the parameter of the primary side taken in the secondary side so two way to draw the equivalent circuit first i have taken equivalent circuit refer to primary side in this case we just take this r2 and xl2 into the primary side so in second lecture you have seen that the resistance or the impedance seen by the, uh, the uh, resistance or the impedance of the rotor uh, road uh, i mean the secondary circuit seen by the supply is how you can calculate you just have to multiply with the a square what is a square a is n1 by n2 whole square so you have to draw the equivalent circuit refer to primary side so if you you have to first you have to shift r2 and xl2 in primary side so if you want to shift r2 in the primary side you have to multiply so it becomes suppose r2 dash 
So, R 2 dash become R 2 a square that is n 1 by n 2 whole square R 2 dash, where R 2 dash is the, the resistance referred to resistance refer to primary side. So, total resistance, so this you have shifted, I mean R 2 you have shifted in this side and R 1 in this branch R 1 is already have in the primary side. So, the total resistance refer to primary side is in primary side suppose total equivalent resistance in primary side is suppose R E 1. So, that become R 1 plus R 2 dash or you can write R 1 plus N 1 by N 2 whole square R 2. So, this you have already seen in the previous lecture that if you want to transfer the any impedance or the resistance or the leakage or the reactance to the primary side you have to multiply by with the square of the turn ratio and if you transfer this to the secondary side you have to multiply by the by the 1 upon a square. If you transfer uh, from primary to secondary then you have to multiply n 2 by n 1 whole square and if you transfer n uh, secondary to primary you have to multiply by n 1 by n 2 whole square ok. And if you transfer the voltage it is transfer with the same ratio and if you transfer the current it will transfer with the reverse reverse ratio reverse turn ratio ok. So, this we have already seen in the uh, last lecture ok and now if you want to shift the x l 2 suppose it is x l 2 dash is the reactance refer to primary side it become x l 2. So, it is x l 2 n 1 by n 2 whole square. So, the total equivalent reactance x e x l e suppose it is x 1 x l 1 plus x l 2 dash that is x l 1 plus x l 2 n 1 by n 2 whole square. And similarly you can see the current if the voltage uh, uh, the secondary voltage you want to transfer in the primary side. So, you have to multiply by with the n 1 by n 2 and if you want to transfer the current from the secondary to the primary side it will multiply by the n 2 by n 1 ok. So, with this you can draw the equivalent circuit. So, to simplify this equivalent circuit we shift all the secondary parameter in, in this side. So, it can be draw like this. This is the ideal, this is ideal one. So, this is the equivalent circuit, this is R 1, X L 1, this is 
R2 dash XL2 dash this is already in primary side so no need to transfer this this is RC IC IM XM and this is your IE that is exciting current this is I1 and this is I2 dash ok now so this is the circuit referred to equivalent circuit this is the equivalent circuit referred to the primary side Now, you can similarly you can draw the circuit with reference to the secondary side ok. So, if you draw the equivalent circuit refer to the secondary side we see this. So, we just all the quantity which is primary side we shift towards right to the ideal transformer. So, it can be draw So, this is suppose R 2 x L 2 and this become R 1 dash and x L 1 dash and this is become R C dash and this is x M dash. Now, this is become I C dash this is become I C dash and this is become I M dash and this is I E dash because these quantities uh, these quantities are in the primary side you have you are transferring this quantity to the secondary side so this become a dash ok. So, the suppose this is I 1 dash this is I 2 and this is V 2 this is here this is E 1 transfer ok. So, this R 1 dash become I mean the equivalence R 1 dash become R 1 n 2 by n 1 whole square because it is transferring towards secondary side. So, it, it is transferring with the same ratio ok and total equivalent resistance become R 2 plus R 1 dash that is equal to R 2 plus R 1 n 1 by n 2 by n 1 whole square. Similarly, your your x l 1 dash become x l 1 n 2 by n 1 whole square. So, the equivalent reactance leakage reactance become x l 1 dash plus x l 2 and it is x l 2 plus x l 1 n 2 by n 1 whole square ok. And this R c become this R c become R c dash become R c n 2 by n 1 whole square because it is referred to secondary side ok. Now, this x m become x m dash and it has become x m n 2 by 
एन वन होल सर्कल ओके सो एज इन दिस केस आई टू बिकम आई टू बट आई वन डैश बिकम बिकॉज इट इज ट्रांसफरिंग टू दिस साइड तो इट बिकम इट इज ट्रांसफर विद द ऑपोजिट रेशियो सो इट बिकम एन वन बाय एन टू ओके एंड वी वन डैश बिकम v1 n1 by n2 by n2 by n1 so this is how you transferring the parameter from secondary to the primary or primary to the secondary if all the parameters are primary side so you can say it is referred to primary side and if the all the parameter are secondary side so you can say the equivalent circuit is referred to the secondary side so this is how you will see that the, this is equivalent circuit is the refer to the secondary side this is the refer to the primary side now if you want to express the equivalent circuit in general form so you can in general form uh, just eliminate this referring value it's a general form of equivalent circuit is Like you can rep represent this look like this one. So it may be a either it is prime refer to primary side or secondary side, but general form you can represent by this. in doing problem you will see that how this parameter are given so you have to change the parameter in one side either if the parameters are if the problem in such a way you have to transfer the uh, primary primary matlab parameter to the secondary side so you have, you must transfer this parameter and if uh, and if you, if you want to transfer the secondary parameter to the primary side so you have to transfer this parameter so it depends upon the problem which i mean the equivalence how the equivalence circuit will will take in like either it is taken as a refer, uh, refer to primary side or refer to secondary side so this is general representation of the equivalence circuit i just skip the dash and all okay now suppose your power your transformer is very high rating transformer you analyze the transformer which have the high rating kva so you can approximate this equivalent circuit so the the computational become easier the analysis of the transformer become easier if suppose if this branch you transfer this branch either this side towards i mean before r1 or xl side or you can tra uh, transfer this parallel branch after this r2 and L xl2 side if you transfer this branch either this side or at this side your uh, system become easier so that you can solve this uh, equation i mean the circuit become easier and uh, it takes less computational time okay so how this equivalence uh, circuit approximate you can see that in two way you can approximate this equivalent circuit like either you transfer this branch
or you can transfer this branch after this I to add ok. carry a current I two. This carry a current I one. So, in this case you see that in this case the I one R one or X L one carry the I one current ok, but if you approximate this circuit in this manner you will see that the I one and X L one carry the this I two current only there is a drop I mean the I I mean if the R 1 and X 1 are here it also include the this I current, but in this case in this circuit the drop due to this I R I current R 1 plus X L 1 not which is not included included in in this circuit ok. And if you consider this circuit you can see that this will carry I 1 current that is, that is fine, but in this case you see that in this circuit I 2 and X L 2 will carry this I 2 current ok, drop is due to this I 2 current, but in this circuit it will carry the I 1 current. So, the extra I E drop is included in this circuit. So, I E R 2 plus X L 2 will unnecessarily unnecessarily included. So, if you approximate this circuit in this manner this will this will included I mean this will excluded actually which is not included, but in real in reality case this I 1 R 1 include the drop of drop due to this I current, but if you approximate this circuit in this circuit you have not include this drop i e r 1 and x l 1 and in this case in the in the exact equivalent circuit you have include the drop I mean you have excluded the drop of i 2 and x l 2. Well, in this case the drop across i 2 and x l 2 is due to i 2 only but when you approximated that circuit you have to include the extra uh, drop is there i e r 2 plus x l 2, but we approximate this circuit in this manner because your i e current is very small if the magnetizing current in transformer if the high rating transformer is there the, the no load current is ap approximate 2 to 3 percent of the rated current. So, you can use this approximation in the equivalent circuit ok. Now, this approximation also you can simplify this equivalent circuit by eliminating this parallel branch ok. 
Now, if you simplify this equivalent circuit, by the approximate equivalent circuit, you can eliminate this parallel branch by simplifying I mean how you simplify this you eliminate the eliminate the parallel branch because for high rating of transformer suppose 500 kV and 1000 kV transformer as in transformer the no load current is is 2 to 3 percent of rated current. So, for high power rating you can, so for you can neglect the neglect the no load current, no load branch to simplify the to simplify the equivalent circuit. So, how this circuit become now? If you simplify the circuit, the circuit become this is suppose R 1 x L 1 R 2 x L 2. Okay. Here you this is V 1, this is So, in this I 0, so you this I 1 is same as this I 2. Okay. Now, it can be drawn like this. suppose if the your winding resistance is very small I mean you have designed the transformer in such a way so that the winding resistance is small very very small in comparison to the this leakage flux x l 1 and x l 2. Suppose this r 1 plus r 2 is very very small in comparison to x l 1 plus x l 2. So, you can again simplify the circuit in this manner. This is x l 1 and this this is x l 1 and this is x l 2. So, this is the most simplified form of this is suppose one number, this is second and again you simplify this third sorry. Okay. 
so this is the simplified form of approximate equivalent circuit. In this case, you eliminate the, the parallel branch. So, and again if the R 1 R 2 is very very less than to the leakage flux, the approximate or simplify form of equivalent circuit will become this much. Okay. So, this is how we have seen that this is the equivalent circuit we have drawn with the help of this power uh, phasor diagram which we have already seen in the last lecture. After that we have seen that we can shift the, the all the parameter either in the secondary side or in the primary side. So, these are the parameter we have can shift by using this, uh, this a value we can shift the, the uh, with the help of the transformer ratio I mean the n uh, turn ratio. After that we see that approximate equivalent circuit, we can shift the parallel branch either in, uh, in the load side or in the primary side, so that we can more simplify the equivalent circuit. And, but in this case I E R 1 which has not included and in this case it is unnecessarily included, but due to this I is very small we can take this circuit. Okay we can approximate this circuit. Now, to simplify this approximate circuit, we eliminate this I E, because the, the no load current is, is very small in comparison to the, the rated current, if we use the very high power rating of transformer. Okay. And the more simplified form of the transformer is this much. Okay. So, this is the uh, this is uh, the equivalent circuit about the equivalent circuit and uh, you just try the problem on this, so that you can more understand the the how this uh, the refer value has been taken. Okay. So, thank you all if you have any query you can contact me on this uh, email id that is kalra sarika at the rate Ajay Kumar Gurg Engineering College. Mm -hmm.